the end of their Movember campaign. <laughs> Sergeant Jay Clark and Sergeant Aaron Schmouts are ready. Well, they're going to lose their beards. They're starting right now. Here we go. There's Sergeant Schmouts. <laughs> is this Barbara a sad Gino moment? Gino Och with Rudy's is here doing the honors for us. Now, members of the Bureau have been growing the beards this month to raise money for cystic fibrosis. In honor of Sergeant Clark's daughter, one of the beard growers over there, his daughter's name is Josephine, and we're happy to have her in studio along with her mom, Sarah, who obviously in uniform also with the Bureau. Welcome to everybody here in studio this morning. A lot going on. Let's start with you, Josephine. So, Dad has a beard. What do you think? It's cool, but <laughs> when he first shaved it off, I was not happy. You he, like the beard. He grew oh, one last year like during November. Okay. She thinks it should stay. Yeah, wow. and this year he did it in honor of you, Sarah. What does it mean to have the Bureau get behind your daughter like this? Um, I mean, it's always just very humbling to know that people are willing to give of themselves to help find a cure for cystic fibrosis. I want to ask uh, Sergeant Schmouts over there, who's getting his shaved off right it's now. It's a loud razor. <laughs> You've been organizing this, uh, Aaron, all month. And what kind of participation did you have with the Bureau? Uh, I think we're up to about 250 or so donations and just over 15,000. So it's been great. We did 10,000 last year, and it's just great seeing everyone involved. I like the half and half look. I'll, can we yeah, just, stop, just stop, there. stop shaving yeah. for a moment? I like the half and half. <laughs> There's been wonderful involvement at the Bureau, including uh, you sent me a photo of your bomb dog. Yeah, we have a bomb dog. I, I ran into him the other day at the uh, tree lighting, and he somehow has a beard. Uh, Officer <laughs> Jeff Seary uh, managed to find the one dog that can grow a full face beard. Did we get a photo of that? I oh, I want to see that. Oh, I want to see this too. Yeah, of the bearded okay. dog. We are working on that. We'll bring it up in just a moment. And um, Dad over there, Sergeant Clark, um, you've had a beard, Josephine tells us. And, and today, are you going to have it fully shaved off? I, I've had a goatee since... <laughs> before she was born so i can't lose the goatee but, okay that's fair but, but, but you're yeah, ready to lose the go. rest of it the rest can go but did it, you know your daughter josephine likes the full beard sounds like she's a fan i'm a fan too but we, we don't get to keep them in my job so. <laughs> well sergeant clark tell us what this means to you as as dad to josephine here seeing this all come together and seeing your family here on the couch what does it mean to you it's just amazing uh, the fact that the bureau decided to choose this this charity that is so important to us is it's really amazing, and I mean, you can see the joy in that face. The fact that she's <laughs> here at a news st station is pretty amazing. So. Yes, and not nervous at all, are you, Josephine? Uh, <laughs> she, she wanted to know, what are you going to ask me? Well, what I want to ask you is, um, how can you describe for us, for those who don't understand cystic fibrosis, we're hearing the uh, rubbing of the towel over there on <laughs> Aaron's <laughs> microphone, uh, but how can you describe cystic fibrosis for those of us who don't understand? How does it change your life uh, in comparison to other kids your age? Um, it changes my life because with cystic fibrosis, you have to... Um, you have to do treatments every day, twice a day, with um, masks and vests that help you get the mucus out. And some kids like me have to get to the hospital, have to stay in the hospital for a week or two. And um, with other kids, they don't have to do all those treatment stuff, and we have to take vitamins, and we have to go to the doctor's appointment like every three months instead of six. Josephine, I'm just curious, what is it like having mom and dad as police officers? You can't get away with anything. Yeah, that, that is hard. <laughs> <laughs> and you were blue well, too. <laughs> um, you know, we talk about the difference in her life, and Dornbecker Children's Hospital is sort of probably your home away from home, I imagine, Sarah. Yeah, um, actually, we go on Monday for her next appointment. Um, we spend countless hours up there. You know, you know all the nursing staff um, up in the hospital. She spends about a week, a year, um, inpatient for lung exacerbations, but we're actually very lucky. She's very healthy. Um, I know you look wonderful. We've been great color. Yes. We have been very blessed with um, her care and uh, you, the money that's raised by the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation to get new medications. She's um, com we're coming up on a year on a new medication that she started um, that has been funded by the Cystic Fibrosis yeah, Foundation. It's a so great effort. Um, yeah, it's, it means a lot to us. And to know that thousands of dollars raised this month alone in your name, Josephine. How very <laughs> wonderful. Now, I want to check in with our barber, Gino, over there. Uh, how's it going along? Now, you have a lot of experience doing this, we hope, right?
<laughs> he's in safe hands. Yeah, he <laughs> can't really speak at this moment to say. It's looking I'm good though around. so far.